I was I was enrolled to study neuromarketing in business school in Barcelona. And I still can't believe it. So in this video, I'm going to share with you why I did that and how I did that and how I found my perfect studying program and what was my journey, which led me to the point when I feel like it's some fairy tale going on in my life. If you still haven't checked the video with the first part of my story, I definitely advise you to do that because this way you will understand fully what is going on and what I experienced. So I rejected to study in Germany for free because I had every intention to study in the field which I'm interested in indeed and which is going to be useful for my career. And since in my job the main tool is social media platforms such as TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, I needed to find a program where I would go with content marketing, social media marketing, video marketing, etc. And it hit me, I need digital marketing, sounds like a perfect direction for social media marketing specialists. So at the beginning of November I started looking for a program, this time it digital marketing and by the way I'm going to leave you in bio several links which might be useful for you if you're looking for your perfect university they help me a lot I spent like two weeks searching and searching and puff perfect option Amsterdam University, the program of digital marketing. So in the Netherlands, I can easily survive and live just with English, so I don't need to learn some extra language. And the program was exactly what I was looking for that would help me to advance in my niche. Finally, they have a scholarship, which is called Amsterdam Merit Scholarship that fully covers your tuition fee and provides you 5,000 euros extra. I wish they paid me for this promotion. <laughs> so yeah, I know myself, if I want to get a scholarship, I will undoubtedly do that. So the intake was on April 2022 and before that I needed to complete two exams. The first one is IELTS, which is like really surprisingly for me because I have a bachelor degree from the university in United Kingdom. Like why the heck I need to prove you that I know English? And the second one is GMAT. For your information, IELTS is an international English exam and GMAT is an exam which you usually have to complete if you want to apply for MBA programs. GMAT usually covers... Um, <laughs> Verbal. GMAT mainly covers mathematics, verbal skills, analytical writing, blah, blah, blah. This exam is really hard. And when I was Googling, you need to spend six months on preparing for this exam. That is why at first I didn't want to apply for master program. I just didn't want to pass this exam. I was so fed up with all this university shit, like when you're wasting time on preparing for unnecessary exams. I didn't want to experience that once again in my life. And okay, usually the preparation for exam requires you like I don't know, one month or something, but here it's like half of year. I haven't done it in my whole life. Come on, I'm not going to do that. I haven't done it even when I had graduation exams in my high school, but I really liked this Amsterdam program, so I didn't have choice. And I started preparing for the exams. And of course, I started from the easier one, which is IELTS. By the way, it's a subconscious error, which always pushes us to delay the hardest task for the very last moment. And I fell into trap. <laughs> At the end of November, I paid for IELTS and I went to Kiev, capital of Ukraine, for a couple of days. And there I was so inspired by these big city life vibes that I was like, I need to accelerate the process of my submission to the Netherlands. You know, to feel released and safe that I will definitely go there. Thank God I decided to check the website again because apparently it was written that those who want to apply for this Amsterdam Merit Scholarship, they have to do that not uh, by April of 2022, but by January. My face expression was exactly like this. I went googling how to pass GMAT in a month, life hacks to pass GMAT, how to trick the test, like whatever. And I even did a trial test, which they provide on their official website. And actually I passed it. Well, it was on the minimum edge, but I passed. Nevertheless, it didn't help me. It didn't make me feel easier. Like I was extra stressed because I had no clue how to pass this exam because I was possessing like three weeks for preparation. A little bit, not enough of time. So I needed to make a decision if I should risk and try to pass this exam or just choose another program where I don't need to submit this terrible test. <laughs> and babam, game changer. I always speak about the power of Instagram, which basically implies networking, because when you post regularly, you are in good relations with your audience. So just in case some problem appears, 
your followers just help you to solve it. I'm serious. I don't know how many of my problems were solved just thanks to my blog on Instagram. And here we go again. Instagram power. I posted several stories that I need to pass this GMAT exam. And well, basically the fact that I was going to apply for masters was a secret, but 80% of my followers have no clue what GMAT is. So my secret was not revealed. They didn't give a damn which exam I need to pass. <laughs> but one of my followers knew what this exam is about. So she texted me and we started chatting and I told her the whole thing that I want to apply to the Netherlands for digital marketing program. And surprisingly, she has a bachelor degree in digital marketing. How not to believe into power of thoughts after this? I was just thinking that I need a person who might like help me, but nobody knows about digital marketing, you know, too much stuff. And she just appeared out of nowhere from my Instagram stories. <laughs> after all, she dispelled my illusions and she told me that I would be disappointed because digital marketing is definitely not what I expect it to be. You know, it is so crazy that I wanted to apply to digital marketing without even realizing what this program is about. Like, I just checked, you know, in a nutshell and I was like, okay, that's good. But in fact, it's all about technical side of online marketing, like generating leads, doing a sale optimization, and that's not what I need. I don't like it. I'm more into creative and manipulative side of marketing. I adore manipulations. <laughs> my perfect combination would be something like psychological marketing. And this girl, my follower, just casually mentioned neuromarketing. I googled it and I was like, that's it. Like for this time, for real. That's exactly what I need for 100 thousand percent. For you to know, I work as SMM manager with personal brand. So I help experts from totally different niches, starting from finance and enough with makeup to build a strong personal brand to promote it and to monetize it. And this is all about neuromarketing. It's about how one person can affect all other people. So all these other people fall in love with this person and they trust this person and they want to know what this person eats, what this person thinks, and they want to give money to this person. That's how it works. This time I didn't need to spend like weeks on finding a perfect neuromarketing program. Luckily, because neuromarketing is relatively new area, so there are not so many universities where you can find this program. Moreover, I started looking not for universities, but for business schools, because I told you, I didn't want to study any boring theory anymore. I'm more for practical skills, and that is exactly what you can get in a business school. Кажись, я нашла программы, которые мне подходят. And this is how I found business school in Barcelona, where I'm going to study neuromarketing. Even when I pronounce it that I'm going to study neuromarketing in business school in Barcelona, I can't handle my emotions. I have mascara. <laughs> we start on October 2022. Like it drives me so happy that each time when I'm talking about that, like I want to cry just because because of this happiness that I feel. And it was so crazy hard to keep it in a secret for half of year, for six months. I couldn't tell about this to people because I didn't want to, but it was so hard. I wanted it so badly. Thank God I told you this piece of news. I'm waiting for your comments because you see how happy I am. I want to know that you are also this happy for me. <laughs> I'm a bit pushing the line, no? <laughs> By the way, in one week I'm moving to Spain. Finally, I miss this country so much. And there is a little problem that I don't have where to live. <laughs> And like, you know, in general, my life currently is not stable so much that I literally don't know where I will end up tomorrow or in one week, like in which city I will be, in which country I will be, no clue. But if you want to stay tuned, follow my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram to see all the adventures that are going to happen. Because as I already told you, a new crazy chapter of my life is about to happen. And I'm so excited about that and I'm so thankful. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos about my life in Spain and see you soon. Bye!